This incident occurred last summer. I was performing some cleaning work in my home then, whenever the weather would permit. I would sort through my belongings before holding a large yard sale. It was such a beautiful day outside, so I looked through a lot of stuff around the house before pulling out numerous boxes of items who were selling outside. When everything was outside, we would arrange everything and choose the price for each item in our yard sale. On this particular day, I was sweeping by myself, going through a lot of items, and having a sizable amount of bags outdoors. By the time I finished, I had spent many hours mopping. I was on my way to the dragway to scatter some additional items. A guy could be seen making his way up my dragway and approaching my garage. We had a parking garage, and it was now open, and I had no idea who this man was. The occurrence of something like this was quite uncommon. I then called out the guy and inquired about his whereabouts. He did not reply, though. He simply continued going till he reached my garage. Now that we had the equipment and other items in there that he could take or perhaps use as a weapon, I was somewhat concerned. Nevertheless, I made the decision to go inside with the person and trusted that he wasn't harboring any malice. Perhaps he mistakenly believed he was at someone else's home. I made my way over to the garage and entered. When I entered, there was no sign of him. We did not have a car there at the time, so I took a stroll around the little one-car garage. I circled it again, but failed to spot the man save for the substantial garage door up front. Just in time, our old rubbish bins were blocking the one remaining door at the garage's back. I simply couldn't see how needs could decrease and then suddenly seemed to vanish. I returned and made the decision to carry the bags right into my house after becoming a little frightened. I arranged the remaining items as normal and put up our yard sale the following day. I intended to hold a portion of the auction in our garage and the remaining portion in our driveway while we were out setting up the garage. The man who appeared to have disappeared in there the previous day made me feel a bit uneasy. The following day, when we conducted our yard sale, I sat at a table about halfway down the driveway and worked a little at the cash register. And soon after, visitors began to arrive. Everything was going oak when one of the customers approached me. She said that a sinister guy was concealed in a trash bin in the garage. Given that there were a few individuals around, I made the decision to approach and take a look. I opened the trash container in the garage when I arrived there and noticed the same man as previously. Instead of looking at me, he leaped out and rushed away with aggression. Everyone appeared to be genuinely shocked by what they had seen. I'm very relieved that the dude did not cause any significant issues, but it's quite unsettling to consider how long he was probably in my garage. My husband and I made the decision to clear out our three-story home's loft last month. Each of us hadn't been up there in more than a year, so it was probably inevitable. Because it was not very big, neither of us used the attic. We did, however, have some items up there that had been kept there for years before we felt the area might be better utilized. One Saturday morning, my partner and I both went up there to look around. A few crates and used furniture were present. It wasn't all that horrible, actually. We took a couple of crates and lowered them. Since most of his belongings were in that box, I requested that my husband looks through it. I then returned to the top to retrieve more. I obtained a few more crates when I returned to the top. But when I was upstairs, I believe I heard a sound coming from the attic's rear corner. I searched, but I found nothing. However, I was somewhat frightened and hurried back downstairs. We took a couple of crates and lowered them. Since most of his belongings were in that box, I requested that my husband looks through it. I then returned to the top to retrieve more. I obtained a few more crates when I returned to the top. But when I was upstairs, I believe I heard a sound coming from the attic's rear corner. I searched, but I found nothing. However, I was somewhat frightened and hurried back downstairs. We simultaneously whirled back to witness the loft door being banged shut. That was so quick. I failed to see who closed the door. But it was already closed. My spouse and I exchanged astonished looks with one another. He questioned, who just did that? He then moved toward the door and unlocked it. 
However, the door handle had been internally broken off. Despite our best efforts, none of us was able to open the door since it was without a handle. We noticed that the rest of our homes also seemed to be in motion. It was quite unsettling. And fortunately, we had our phones with us. I made the decision to phone the police, tell my husband to stay home, and block the entrance with a sizable piece of furniture. That way, whoever was in our home at least couldn't access the attic, where we were hiding. The cops responded that they would be there quickly after I described the scenario to them. As we watched, we kept an eye on the world outside and listened for any more sounds coming from within the home. Beyond waiting, we did not hear anything else. We searched the loft but couldn't find anything that would suggest that somebody had been up there. We gestured to the cops as they pulled up in our driveway a little later when we noticed them through the window. As they opened the entrance for us, they entered the home and went up to the loft. They informed us that whoever had been inside our home had left. They discovered our rear door was open, but no one was inside. I was a little surprised that whoever it was didn't seem to steal anything or cause any damage to the house. In the following days, we were capable of finishing the loft cleanout and repairing the door handle. We have no idea who was in our loft or how they reached there in the first place. But I also thought it was strange that they had removed the door handle so that we could not really leave. Back in the day, I was organizing my home. I spent a year renting a home. The year was nearly over. I wouldn't be residing there the following year. Therefore, it was time for me to commence organizing and relocating my belongings to my new home. Even though the home I had at the time was somewhat tiny, there was more than enough room for just me. There I was by myself, and I had just finished organizing the living room, removing all but a few pieces of basic furniture, before moving on to organize the kitchen. There were several closets, in fact, that I didn't utilize most of. To ensure I did not have anything in any of the ones I did not use, I went through several of them. I unlocked one of them and noticed something in the rear corner. It appeared to be a garment or fabric of some sort. When I went to pick it up, I realized it wasn't what I thought it was. It showed a tiny, hardly visible blue lever when I lifted it. The stove was partially blocking the cupboard, which was kind of in the corner beside the sink. I mistook it for another pipe, but to me, everything simply seemed a bit odd. Once I was inside, I had to crawl through the very large cabinet. When I entered, I discovered a little trapdoor on the side that led into the wall. I was seeing things that I couldn't believe. To view the finer details, you had to be entirely inside. I made the decision to open the door which opened into a remarkably small corridor with what seemed to be a crawl space. As I continued inside, I was appalled. I noticed that there was food inside, along with a number of blankets, suggesting that someone had been residing there. The good news is that whoever was in there has left, at least according to me. I made an effort to make sense of it and determine how long the man had been present and how I was unaware of it. I spent a lot of time away from home due to my job and other obligations. However, I had no idea how someone could have lived there without my knowledge. Up until it was rather late, I kept cleaning. I resumed work the following day. I made the decision to take another look at the secret room because I was still a little taken aback by its discovery. As I had done the day before, I pulled the lever open to the cabinet and entered. But this time, as quickly as I lifted it, I noticed movement, followed by a brief glimpse of a man. When they closed the door behind me, I spun around and sprinted out of my house to my car, where I called the police. I began to drive away because I was so terrified. I explained everything to the cops, and when they returned a little while later, they discovered that whoever had been there having left. Fortunately for me, I relocated the next week. I honestly have no idea how long the resident of my hidden chamber lived there, but happily, they never caused me any trouble.